So the frame travels down and B replies back. So it gets back to switch one. We're not gonna worry about how switch two handled things, but you'll notice when that frame came back into switch one, we learned it. You can see here now my MAC address table has changed. Now F1 slash zero slash 21 has an entry for the host B because its source was seen on F0 slash 21. So now the question is, what's the destination of this frame? Well, now the destination we know is A because B is replying back to A. So in this case, should the switch forward, filter, or flood? Well, we don't need to flood because we only flood when we don't have the destination in our MAC address database. In this case, we do have the destination in our MAC address database, and where we see that destination, A, is on F1 slash 0 slash 20. So we're going to go ahead and forward that frame out interface F1 slash 0 slash 20. So that gives us a look at how we make the decision to either flood or to forward. But see, there's another option that our switch might decide to take if it sees a frame. Now let's look in on that.